Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, today I've got a gem of a video for you because uh, this, well first of all, is an Edinburgh video and uh, I know you don't like those particularly much jointing from the views but I'm going to put it up anyway because uh, I love Edinburgh and uh, today I had the pleasure of playing with the good old Black Priest 14 here and uh, I'm sure you know him from Discord or Facebook or wherever he uh, runs around and remember he has his own channel as well and I'll put a link in the description here so make sure you drop by and get some uh, destroyer tips from uh, one of the best destroyer players in the game so uh, I'm running Edinburgh in this game here and uh, I'm using Tenant and uh, I'm actually not using the center guys but in this one here I am so uh, I have all the usual perks speed and rudder and then I have fully packed so I get three of everything um, I think that's really important uh, better rotation double rudder and uh, in the last spot we have the improved uh, reload so uh, uh, not box standard agile build but pretty much three awesome heals three awesome sonars and three radars so uh, <laughs> this is a uh, yeah a ship that comes equipped for every situation so a uh, 1.9 second rudder and 37 knots and uh, look at that nice 30 millimeter armor there all the way around So uh, this game here, we actually played it today, just a, oh, only, only about an hour ago, um, because uh, it's early morning in Europe and uh, late afternoon in Australia. So that's when usually uh, Priest and I can actually make this work, because it's usually pretty difficult to make the times fit between Australia and, uh, well, pretty much the rest of the world. Let's put it like that. So uh, we agree here that, uh, well, we don't really have to agree, because we, you know, spawn at A, and that means of course that means obviously that means that we go for a and uh priest spots the scone so uh, we know it's around and i'm just waiting for him to uh smoke up and then i'll use my radar so uh, that's why i'm getting in as close as i can but at the same time i don't want to expose myself to the albemarle that's uh, heading in to the um the cap on the side so uh i use my radar and uh we pretty much got this going here in a pretty bad situation here. Um, and uh, that's why I like to play Edinburgh with radar. I don't see many radar Edinburghs and uh, neither does the opposition because you always take people by surprise when you have radar on this ship here and nobody expects it. And uh, well, that's one of the good things about this game here. If you have a ship with a build that no one expects, well, then uh, you're going to, uh, you know, mix up the gameplay a little bit and... Uh, people are going to be you know a little bit like stuff is going to be out of the ordinary and uh, I like that so uh, we also have a very typical battleship player here at our spawn because uh, there's only the two of us in the division and uh, you can see that he reverses right from the start taking himself completely out of the battle and uh, he's sitting out there and he's getting AC spammed from uh, the B cap and uh, he is unable to back us up and it's just the worst play i mean if if i see reversing battleships um yeah don't expect any support let's put it that way um so anyway priest is uh, out on the flank spotting and uh, i just need to finish this cap here and uh, then i will try to take care of the album aisle that's uh, just around the corner because uh, it looks like he's just like desperately trying to reverse in and stop me from capping but obviously we can't have that so uh, that's the cap there and the uh, priest is making sure i'm not getting surprised by the destroyer so i just have to worry about the Shanhorst and the album and it's not really much of a problem now the album player is obviously someone who actually plays this ship quite a lot because he angles exactly the way you're supposed to do an album and uh, really the only way i can take this guy out is with torpedoes because uh, Elbemar's like, middle section armor is really thick and uh, this guy is not giving me any broadside so uh, I'm going to have to rely on Torps to, uh, to remove him and of course I'm trying to angle as well and he's shooting HE there which is quite uh, lucky I don't know why he did that but uh, anyway, we need to get him out of the cap and then we need to have him sunk and uh, the Skåne joins in we get one Torp hit on the Elbemar and then we shoot at the Skåne, because we will not let a spotted destroyer be wasted, even if we don't really hit him. <laughs> and uh, the Elbermal survived, and uh, that's a bit of a problem now, because uh, I was expecting to get him with those torpedoes there, so I didn't have to worry about him. 
But now I can see a broadside that way. And uh, he's not giving up either. He's again reversing into the cap. Uh, so I have to dodge torps, and at the same time I cannot show broadside to this Albemarle here. So uh, someone gets him very nicely there, and uh, our battleship is finally actually in the cap. It's only been four and a half minutes. I mean, that's just unacceptable. Um, especially when there's only one destroyer at the cap, and you have a radar cruiser and a destroyer with you. It's just, uh, yeah, it's unacceptable. That's what it is. Anyway, moving on. So, uh... I'm just annoying the Elbermal here. I know I'm gonna get him with a torp, but uh, it would be nice to get him with guns. And uh, Priest takes out the Skorne, and that means this flank here is one. And uh, as usual, the battleship is way too late to the party. Like, he's moving in now when there's nothing left. I mean, why? What's the point? What are you... Uh, whoa, what are you trying to achieve with this? You should go to B instead. There's nothing left to do over here. So uh, speaking of B, Priest and I are moving towards B, and notice how we take like, uh, half the map, uh, like we don't like stick together like, uh, you know, Siamese twins. Like uh, Priest takes the north part of the map and I take the south part, meaning that we can spot a lot more um, instead of just, you know, sitting in the same square. And uh, yes, I mean, that means that Priest can smoke me up if I need him to, but uh, I don't really need that sort of thing in uh, this Edinburgh here because uh, I'm used to playing it this way and uh, I don't really need smoke so it's better that we just uh, approach B from you know as far away on the map as we possibly can be or not as possibly can be I mean I'm, I'm gonna stay here in the middle of the map uh, but we are going to be able to spot uh, pretty much north and south here instead of everyone going the same way like the battleship is following priest here which is uh, yeah useless he should have stayed uh, if he wasn't going to actually help us at all then um then go for b after the cap was done don't take the long trip there around a where you can't shoot at anything so a uh, priest is really low on health so uh, my main uh, objective here is to take care of the last destroyer uh, i don't care about battleships i don't really care about cruisers uh, i do care about the cap though and uh, the destroyer is really the only uh, nasty threat left here. Um, so, I'm spotted, but I'm not going to pop the radar now because I'm not in a very good position to actually uh, make use of it. And uh, I'm hoping I can lure the uh, destroyer a little bit closer in here. Because uh, I'm kind of betting that he didn't see me use my radar before, so he probably doesn't know I have one. Um, so, now I go unspotted, so I know exactly where the destroyer is now. Uh, just at that spot. Where the mountain covers him well that's where he is roughly so uh, that means that he's probably heading into the b cap here to try to torp me once he assumes i'll smoke up in here so uh, i have to get in here before him and uh, you can see priest is busy with the shan horse out there and uh, at the same time he's spotting so i'm not you know getting any ni nasty surprises here i'm a little bit early on the radar here but um i wanted to make sure i wasn't running into a an ambush here and uh, i'm I realize there's a Massachusetts in here, but it doesn't matter. I just point my bow towards him, and then I can punish this Kagero here, and there's nothing the uh, battleship can do about it. Because I have a 30 millimeter bow, and unless you are Yamato or, um, what's it called? The premium US battleship. I forget what it's called. Four letters. Anyway, those are the only ones that can punch through my bow, and uh, this Kagero here, there's just nothing he can do. And uh, at the same time, I'm just getting closer and closer to the battleship, so uh, I can torp him. And uh, he's just behind the island here. And now is where I get caught a little bit off guard. Because uh, I come around here and I'm thinking, well, this is going to be the easiest torpedo kill in the history of torpedo kills. So I'm just waiting a little bit here. And uh, just to get in closer. And uh, just about to launch my torps. And literally one second from launching them. And then he takes my torps out. And uh, that's really annoying because it's on my right side and I don't really have the room here to turn around and, uh, you know, use my other side torps. So uh, I'm trying to slow down a little bit here to hopefully my torps will come back online and uh, I can actually use them again. And uh, here I take a bit of a chance because um, uh, I'm just hoping that he shoots for the front guns, which he does because he, he's too afraid to wait. And here... 
This is a uh, potato uh, torpedoes 101 because uh, I shoot the whole side here with three torpedoes, and I don't hit a single one. And I'm like, what? That was a that was a pretty good dodge by this battleship here. And uh, then at the end of the battle, I realized that this guy here pretty much single-handedly carried his team, and uh, he seems to be an excellent player. So uh, that's why. He's fully prepared for what I'm doing now here, and like I'm staggering my torpedoes a little bit unexpected here, and still he manages to uh, avoid them again. And uh, I mean that's that's pretty good battleship play there, or terrible torpedo work on my part. You take your pick. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we're going to uh, just have to take him down with guns then. Just go for the superstructure, and uh, these AP shells here will make quick work of him. And uh, notice how the battleship here yeah, hasn't really done anything um yeah i think he was going for a ram there which is why like anyway we are just going to cap here and uh, yeah well done richelieu uh just count yourself lucky you have the two of us on your team <laughs> and uh, just 20 seconds left and the only problem is now which way are the cruisers at the sea cap going um and i'm just showing my dissatisfaction with this battleship here um, and I'm kind of hoping, like, can you at the very least go out and spot if the destroyers are coming from the south side? And if they're not, then they're probably coming from the north side. But that's unlikely because Priest is out there and uh, he's not seeing anything. And that means they are likely to come here. And here's the Cleveland. He is very low on health and uh, pretty much a one shot. I love Edinburgh, how it just chews through Cleveland's. Uh, there's no overpens here. If you get hit with AP, then uh, you're dead in Cleveland. And uh, it citadels really nicely. Very similar to Martel. Of course, like similar-ish, because obviously the shells are very, very different between Martel and um, Edinburgh. So uh, we have the Baltimore left, and he's nearly full health, and uh, he's too far away for me to rush him and torp him. So I'm just sitting here. I was kind of hoping the battleship would soften him up. But obviously this battleship here, he's not really, uh, he's probably playing, I don't know, Game Boy at the same time or something. So we just go in, bow in towards the Baltimore, and that's it. He had his chance when I came around the corner, but it's too late now. Like, his shells aren't going to do anything. And as soon as I get in torp range, just get a few citadels here first. As soon as I get in torp range, it is uh, game over here. Because he doesn't have the turret rotation mod on his ship, that's fairly obvious. And uh, I do get a torp hit, but uh, hmm, I just realized that now. Did I only get one torp hit? I guess. Anyway, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to use the fast rudder to get all guns on target here and then remove him from the game here. And that is the Kraken right there. So uh, that was uh, Black Priest and myself, uh, you know, divisioning up. And uh, I might say that we are quite a lethal team, so uh, it's always good fun. And there are nearly 4,000 XP here. So uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you out there.